Bang! Needs knives. Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared, and we got an unboxing of a couple knives I've wanted to check out for a long time. Now, this is the, the Kaiser Genie, the new version in their beautiful micarta. But this knife, or these knives, so they're in for sharpening, and we're going to talk about the type of edges because they're going to get some unique edges on them. Oh, man. Check that out. This is one of them. Oh, I've wanted to try this thing for a long time. This is the Liang Ma Field Duty EDC. I think that's the name of it. So, oh, that was really nice. Let me try that again. Oh, yeah. That's really good. Oh, those ergos are so nice. So, I tried... I've sharpened a couple of them. I even modified the lock bar access on the big version of this, the full tie Liang Ma Field Duty. I absolutely love that knife. I love it. Um, I'd love to own one. Uh, then they came out with this version, the EDC, which is a smaller version because the other one, it's like a four inch blade or like I think a 3.75 inch blade. And this one is like a three inch blade. It's a smaller knife. Um, a little bit more EDCable, better sharpening choil for sure. Plunge grind starts here, ends about right here. So you have a lot of good sharpening. Now let's talk about the edges. Or actually, you know what? Let's pull out this other one. Then we'll talk about the edges because they're going to get some unique edges. Now this is one I've actually wanted to try even more than this one. Oh, the Liang Ma Cuff. Oh, man. A lot of people don't like... I'll pull this back up in a second. The the Teletubby little thing right here, but let's see how it works. Oh, it works so good. Holy cow. Oh, man. This is like a fidgeter's dream. Oh, man. This is awesome. I like it. I will say there's one thing that stands out already that I hate, though. I hate it so much. Oh, wow, it has some pretty strong lockup, too. But I was going to say this cutout right here, it's so, look how tight that is. There's no access this way. You have to go in the front, and then you have to hit your ad, your finger right on this edge. They put a little chamfer right there, but they, they shouldn't have put this part so sharp. If this was mine, hands down, I would immediately, immediately cut this. Let me see how it looks in there. I think I can't hardly see it, but I would just basically cut this out just a little tiny bit, like back to like this far, just a little bit, just to give you something so you can hit it from the edge so you don't have to come around to the front. Because this thing is awfully sharp to do all the time. Maybe if you reverse it like this, but the knife is so awesome. It's like you just kind of... There's certain t times when you're just like, it's okay. <laughs> I'm okay with it because the knife is so awesome. The next thing is this damn sharpening choil. I don't, Leung Ma's choils for some reason, and he just, it's what he does. It's what he does. Um, he does not like sharpening choils for some reason. He likes to pull the plunge grind all the way to the edge. Whatever. Uh, that, that can be fixed, but it also can create a big smile if you, let me see, if you don't. Uh, where's the stop pen? I can't see the stop pen at all. Where is the stop pen? I cannot see the stop pen at all on this thing. I don't know where it's at. Anyways, um, this is not a review. This is literally just me unboxing it because these are in for sharpening. But I wanted to do a first impressions on them because I've always wanted to check these guys out. So let's talk about the edges. So what we're going to do with these guys is, well, the owner wants a, um, a dual grit edge. What is a dual grit edge? If you guys haven't watched Cedric and Ada, he recently did a video where he tried out a theory of a dual grit edge, meaning one grit on one side, another grit on the other side. Now, like meaning like uh, a polished on one side and then like a, a 600 grit on the other side. And it makes the edge retention 
or the possibility of the edge retention to go up. When Cedric Canada tested it, it did great. I mean, like the the edge retention lasted. I don't even know, probably four times as long as um, it normally would for the steel that it was on. So it has the potential to increase the edge retention massively. Um, some people might not like the look because you're going to have a toothy edge on one side and a polished edge on the other side. Just to show you guys what a dual grit finish would look like, um, it would look like this kind of edge on one side. This is used and everything, but a low grit, nice coarse edge. Coarse to medium grit. And then this one I'm about to mail back. It's in for sharpening, but it has a fresh edge. Um, I do have oil on the blade because I'm mailing it back with a polished finish on the other side like that. It's got oil on it, so you can see it right there. So a nice polished edge on one side and then a toothy finish on the other side. So one side of the edge like this, and then this side polished. Now, I will say that, I, one, I think is really cool because I love playing around with edges and doing different things, so I'm happy to do this. Um, I think it's awesome that the, the owner wants to do it. Man, that action. Um, now, I know I have... Because, like, so for certain steels, I think this could massively benefit certain steels. Like, steels like um, S35VN. S35VN, in a lot of cases, doesn't like to take a polished edge. And when it does, it doesn't, it doesn't keep its bite very long. But in this case, it could possibly, S35 could possibly, one, take a lot of bite with a polished edge. But on the other side, it would still be toothy, but also do very well. Now, I also experimented with, sorry, I had to grab the knife. I experimented with different angles and I had fantastic results with different angles. So like a 15 degree edge on one side, you see how it's polished 15 degree edge on one side, and then a 22 degree edge on the other side. And it uh, made it where one, the edge retention was insane and the level of sharpness from a polished edge on s35 sharper than i've ever seen s35 be able to take um for whatever reason because of the two angles anyways maybe this this knife would have still been able to take it if i would just laid back both sides at 15 degrees per side i don't know for sure i only did the one side um, but you know, it was fun experimenting with different edges. And the biggest thing that happened with this is the cutting performance, how good it passes through materials went through the roof. Um, I mean, it's just, it's so much better. Now, I don't know if the cutting performance would increase by doing the dual grit edge, but the edge retention is supposed to go up. So, um, you know, I'll obviously speak to the owner and we'll figure out what grits we're going to put on this. Obviously, it'll be a polished finish on one side, but the other side, um, I don't know, maybe 300 grit. Um, you know, I, man, I do some really good 300 grit edges. Um, I have a couple knives in 300 grit that they're just so toothy and it's so sharp. It's insane. Actually, my Spartan Hersey right now is a 300 grit uh whew, man this action yeah i think this is going to be an awesome thing um i'm happy to do it um like i said i'll speak to the owner and we'll figure out what other grit we should put on it possibly i wouldn't go over 600 grit to be honest on the the gritty side because you know the benefits of or the reason why the that this is supposed to work so good is because you have a toothy finish i think if you go over 600 grit you're gonna go beyond what you know is a toothy edge or uh, even a medium because a 600 grit especially depending on the stone like an aluminum oxide 600 grit is like a fine edge um a diamond finish is more of a medium grit so just depending on the stones but you know 600 grit is considered more of a medium grit edge um toothy would be like 300 grit 400 grit uh so or sorry not toothy i guess you could use the terminology coarse a coarse edge because there's a, you know a coarse a medium and a fine edge so man this is going to be awesome i really like these knives so man 
oh, I don't know which one I like better. I know I wanted to try this one out even more. I think it's this one though. I will say this one is far more comfortable in the hand. Holy cow, this thing is comfortable. I don't even feel the clip. I don't like these type of clips though. This one has a better style. Well, let's try it really quick. It's okay. Oh man, I hate to admit it, but the ball clip on this one works a little bit better. Um, the, the tension's not really tight. It's uh, actually pretty uh, loose. Not loose, but um, it's not really strong tension. This one has really strong tension. Even though it has a big surface area, kind of. This one still works just fine. It works good. In the hand, I do feel it. But you're going to feel a clip. No big deal. Um, it's still very comfortable in the hand. A very comfortable knife. I like the neutral grips. Um, I wish they would have chamfered this damn edge right there. But this one, though, man, it has the thickness here. And then the the size here that just makes it where, man, it melts in your hand. Everything's rounded and contoured really nice. It has a great thickness in your hand. And then this one's pretty, it feels pretty slim, but very, very comfortable still. I definitely tell, I could definitely bear down. Love this blade shape. One of my favorite blade shapes for sure. This one too. I love the leaf shape, spear point type of blade shape. Um, so there you guys go. I'm not sure if I'll do a video on doing the edge or not. Maybe I'll do it on Instagram or something. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I do a lot of sharpening and I do all kinds of stuff on Instagram, but, um, yeah, definitely check out my Instagram. If you guys, uh, aren't following me there already, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.